Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel. Today we're in Palm Coast, Florida, which is a little bit north of Daytona Beach, a little bit south of St. Augustine on the east coast of Florida. We're in a community called Toscana and the community is really cool. It's a gated community with only 200 home sites. All the home sites are 90 feet or larger, which is a really neat feature. And also the HOA here is only $100 a month, so it's a very desirable area. So we're gonna actually show you this home behind me. It's an ABD development home. It's actually for sale. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home with 2,800 167 square feet of living and it's currently for sale for 1.2 million dollars of a three-year lease back you also can build one of these and they start around seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and go up from there so if you are interested in building make sure you contact us we'll tell you all the information about it so let's go ahead and talk to you a little bit about it as i walk up this pathway uh one thing over on my left is going to be a two-car garage and then you can see that we have a cubola above us as well and then of course this spanish tile roof going all the way over so we come up to the entryway we have really beautiful tropical landscaping on either side and then of course we do have this entryway that's arched with a stonework going all the way up with the beautiful designs under the roof line as well so let me go ahead and step up and show you the front entryway this is the covered area has some really nice wood on the ceiling and of course ceramic tile on the floor and the double doors in front of us so let's go ahead and go inside and check out this home all right, so welcome into this home. Well, sort of welcome into this home because we're not really in the home. We're in a courtyard. This is one of the few courtyard homes that we filmed. We filmed two others that we'll link below in the comments. But let's go ahead and show you what we have out here. We have a door that goes to the two-car garage. There's also a door in the interior that goes to the two-car garage as well. But the first thing we see is we see our summer kitchen. The summer kitchen has some beautiful stonework, granite countertops. We have a refrigerator, barbecue, and air vent. And then we'll go ahead and go this direction and I'll have Haley who's working the camera today stand by the entry and this is what you see when you come in. And of course, the first thing that everyone's gonna look at is this pool which is included in that $1.2 million price. You get this whole pool and jacuzzi. So let's talk about what we have here. We have our jacuzzi which is a nice water feature and of course the pool. Now on the other side, we have a door that goes into a bathroom and we have a casita or pool uh, house here and this is the extra fourth bedroom and third bathroom that we'll show you later but as we come through to the end here we see that we have this beautiful brickwork along the end and of course it's all screened in and then the feature is this fireplace with the waterfall and this black brick that contrasts really good with the brick behind it and of course we have a walkway over here so let's go ahead and walk across this walkway and then we come to the other side of course this is all travertine style going through we have an exit going out to the side yard and then we have our primary bedroom suite which is right across from the pool house and another thing that you'll notice with this house is that nearly all these rooms center onto the courtyard we have our front entry and then of course on this side with the sliding glass door that's all the way open we see our family room and kitchen but let's go ahead and go in through the front door and show you this amazing home all right, so now welcome into the actual house as I close the door behind me. The first thing, of course, we have this beautiful ceramic tile on the floors below me. And of course, above me, we have a nice light fixture that welcomes me into this house. And then as Haley goes around the corner, we'll show you the living room, which is what you see when you come through the front entry. It's a really nice size living room. And the thing that stands out, of course, would be the picture windows. There's a three big picture windows with the three smaller ones above it, which are really nice. And as I look up, we have really high ceilings with a tray, crown molding, and of course, the wood beams going across, which is really nice. And those wood beams continue all the way through into the dining room. As you can see, that really tall ceiling, tray ceiling, crown moldings, and the beams with this beautiful light fixture coming down over the six person dining room. Now here, the actual window is one big picture window with the smaller one above it. So let's go ahead and go this direction. And now we're in the kitchen. So let's talk about the kitchen. So we have our pantry right here, so you have a little space here. There's a little extra space on the other side too if you need some more space for your pantry. And then over to the left is going to be the breakfast nooks currently set up for four people with a light fixture above it. And of course we have the window looking out on that courtyard and the beautiful views. As we come over to the kitchen, we have our center island. It's set up right now for four people to sit along there. And of course this beautiful countertop with all these little shiny pieces in it. It's beautiful design. And we do have three pendant lights hanging from the ceiling as well. So let's go ahead and go down here. We have our refrigerator. Refrigerator is really cool. It's a Samsung refrigerator that sort of is a real fancy one with a TV in there. So that's really neat here. Let's see if I push some button. It tells you what the 60 degrees outside right now. It's actually really cold for Florida, but it has a calendar and you can order your food and everything on there. And of course, your ice maker on this side. So as you come through, we have all this 
uh, storage drawers and cabinets. And of course, we even have a wine refrigerator down here as well to keep all your wines nice and chilled. On the other side, we do have our dishwasher. Now, this is a solid white countertop, a little bit different than the center island. And then we have the beautiful backsplash as well. What's really neat also is we have three shelves that are floating shelves with all the really cool decor on the shelves as well. And then we have our sink. I love the sinks where you sit here and you can look out and you see the backyard. This is actually the back patio it looks out on in the backyard. So you not only do you have a courtyard, but you also have a patio on the back of the yard. And as we continue to go through, we see that it continues with the stove top and the air vent, also Samsung, and of course the beautiful backsplash. And of course we do have the uh, soft clothes as well. So we do have an oven and convection oven microwave combo here also. And then as we continue, we go over into the actual family room. So this is the family room, it's really cool. Uh, the one thing that you probably will notice right away is I look over to the far end, we open up into the sliding glass door. You can really see how the whole sliding glass door opens up into the courtyard and that beautiful view of the pool. And of course we have plenty of space here and we do have an arch wall with the fireplace right there. And then above us is a tray ceiling with the wood beams that we saw in the dining room and living room continuing through here as well. So let's go ahead and go to the left. This is the laundry room, has a nice built-in sink your washer, dryer, a little bit more storage over here. And then this door is the door that goes to that two car garage. Raleigh. You can also have a three car garage. So if you're looking for a three car garage, you can get one built if you're looking for that as well. So if we come this direction, if you need more space for the pantry, we do have a storage area here, which is really right off the kitchen. So you can add more pantry storage there also if you need to, or not just regular storage. So let's go ahead and come down this hallway. We'll go ahead and go left first. This will be one of the bathrooms. So we have some really nice brown cabinets and solid surface countertops. Of course, the mirror with the light fixtures above us. And then of course the toilet, the tub, and of course the tile that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Right next door is gonna be bedroom number two. So as I come in here, we have some really nice engineered hardwood floors, a nice size bed. And of course we have the windows looking out uh, to the garden on the side of the house. And we also have a closet here also, so you can put all your clothes there. So let's go ahead and go to bedroom number three, which is right across the hallway. We do have a little area here for storage. And then the next room would be bedroom number three. Also the really nice engineered hardwood floors, bigger size bed, this is a king size bed, so you have plenty of space in this room. So I feel like this is a little bit bigger room than the other one. And then we have French doors going out to that back patio that we we're talking about earlier. And of course we do have closet. This closet goes the whole length of the wall. If I open it up, you can sort of see the depth of the closet as well. So let's go ahead. I think we have to go see the primary bedroom suite. So follow me this way. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We definitely appreciate that. Also, if you're looking for a home, whether a luxury home or a regular home, anywhere in the state of Florida, make sure you give me a call. My number is 407-487-3030. You can call or text and I can get one of the professionals that I work with throughout the state of Florida on my team to help you with your search. So let's go ahead and show you what we have over here. So we have a half bath. So this will be the half bath right here to the right. So we do have some nice cabinets here and look at this countertop, beautiful blacks and whites. I think uh, the primary bedroom has that same thing. And of course the toilet right behind me as well. So as we come through here, this will be the entry to the primary suite. Have that same beautiful engineered hardwood floors throughout here as well. And then right over to this side, of course you open up to that courtyard. So, so many rooms here open up to the courtyard. And when we go over and show you the casita later, you'll see that as well. So you can see amazing views. And then of course we have the king size bed and then the tray ceilings with the light fixture coming out from the ceiling there as well. So let's go ahead and go into the primary bathroom. So as I come into the primary bathroom, we have two sinks, one on either side of the room. So the first one is right here. So we have the cabinets and of course the countertops, mirror with the light fixture. Right next to it, we have a tub and we have the three windows going on all the sides as well. And then on the other side is the other cabinet with a sink with that same beautiful countertop that we saw. And of course the mirror, which is also framed with a mirror. And then of course light fixture above us. We do have a little linen closet. So if you need to put your towels, you have plenty of space there. And you're like, hey, where's the shower? Well, we'll get to that in just a second because we do have the water closet on the left and the shower to the right. So let's go ahead and take you into the shower. Really cool hexagon tiles on the ground. And of course the beautiful tiles going all the way up to the ceiling with a window here for some natural light. So then the next stop would be going into the closet. This is the one thing I probably update if I bought this house, I'd probably put a, like a custom closet in here and make it really nice in this closet because uh, it's a nice size closet, just needs a little bit of that higher end cabinetry work to really get it that luxury feel. So let's go ahead and maybe take a walk over to the casita and check that out. So 
follow me this direction. And uh, should we go around or should we go through the pool? Let's go through the pool, okay. So they just cleaned it so there's some water on it. So let's hope that me or Haley don't slip as we walk across the pool. And Haley, come on through with your sandals. Oh, she nearly slipped. <laughs> and one more step and you're here. So we're here, we didn't, we didn't fall in. With the, with the camera, at least it's a waterproof camera, right? So anyway, we come here, this door goes into the bathroom, but let's go ahead and go through this door and show you what we have. Currently it's being used as their office. So Todd works out of here. Todd's a great guy, he's the sales rep here. So if you have your own realtor, just come in and ask for Todd, but if you don't, we can definitely help you out. But of course we have the nice tile throughout, really, really big area. So you have plenty of space here. You can just, you can put a bed, you could probably make it sort of like a studio apartment with a bed and, and um, you know, like TV and stuff like that as well. And then it actually has a closet. So you have a closet behind here. It's currently being used with all their um, uh, pamphlets and stuff. And then of course the bathroom. So it's come through here. We have the bathroom. We have the door. This door goes out to the courtyard. So if someone just needs to use the bathroom, they could do that. And then of course we have the cabinet, the beautiful countertops that we saw, mirror and light fixture, toilet. And, and on this side, we have the shower. It's a frameless shower with really nice pebble floors. And of course the ceramic tile going all the way up to the ceiling. So. Let's go ahead, I guess, finish the video right here. So that's the video. I wanna thank you all for watching. Make sure you do like and subscribe if you like watching luxury homes here in the Florida area and sometimes outside of the state as well. Until next time, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.